When I first came across this article, what's going on, everybody? Article, if you're seeing this page, that read. means the official Tori and Rain Reloaded merch store is now available. To get access to the store, make sure you go ahead and click the store tab on my YouTube channel. From there, you will be able to see all the merch that is available. We have mugs, shirts, right here, hoodies, joggers, and so much more to come. All original designs made by yours truly, Tori and Rain Reloaded. Now go ahead and get your merch today, and you can feel natural scope in said article. So you actually see the headline right here. CPD, four migrants arrested for threatening, assaulting 12th district officers. Now, what's going to be very interesting about this, because I already skimmed through the article a little bit, is that they're going to actually give names of the people that were involved in this. Now, whenever they like to talk about Chicago, I always call them phantom shootings because they say all these shootings happen over these various weekends that usually falls on a holiday weekend. And they probably talked about Labor Day, but they didn't talk about this, even though this happened th during the week of Labor Day, just not Labor Day weekend. But they have names on here. But when it comes to black people and all these shootings that uh, allegedly occur, I call them phantom shootings because they never have any names. They don't have any witnesses and they never know who actually did it. Now, there are some stories that come out of Chicago. I said I can only believe the ones that come out of Chicago when they give names and identities. And that's pretty much it. But when they just say, oh, it was 50 shootings that happened and about 30 people injured, but there are no suspects. It's like, OK, yeah, we, we get we understand. We, we see the trick bad. But with this one. They have names, but they're not the people that they tend to like to talk about. And in this case, it's the migrants there. So they have to talk about this now, but they probably have no way to spin it because, again, we are supposed to be the common class of criminality. Let them tell it. But let's go ahead and get into it. The Chicago Police Department alleges that several officers were threatened assaulted and battered by migrants living at the 12th district emergency shelter according to the cpd as many as four individuals face criminal charges surrounding the violent incidents one incident involving two individuals identified as migrants by police sources occurred just after 6 15 a.m wednesday i think they should stop calling them migrants you know i like to call them south of the bordarians but the fact that they keep calling them migrants, that's too that's too nice, in my honest opinion, com considering what they're doing. And like I said in my other video, I said New York now has a new class of criminal or a new criminal class. I think it's safe to say just with this, because this is just the beginning, that the same label can get attached to Illinois via Chicago and say that Chicago now has a new criminal class. Because this is, like I said, only the beginning. It starts with four now, then it can be 40 by the end of the month. The first allegedly took property from the district and attempted to flee. I Interesting choice of words, a flee. While a second allegedly battered a responding officer who sustained minor injuries transported to an area hospital in good condition. Two other violent or threatening incidents reported at around 9.45 a.m. Tuesday morning involved 12th District migrants. 20-year-old Juan Marquez, Marquez Vienna was arrested, charged, and now faces one misdemeanor count of criminal trespass to property and one misdemeanor count of assault, according to New Affairs. Four hours later, 20-year-old Anna Rondon was arrested and charged with one misdemeanor count of battery against a 12th District officer. Migrants at the 12th district spoke with WGN and said they've been forced to wake up at 5 a.m. to leave the building and stand outside on the sidewalk without belongings for hours. They say police told them the lobby needed to be clean, but when they were allowed back into the building, they say there were no discernible sign that there had been any sort of cleaning. WGN reached out to Mayor Brandon Johnson's office for comment, but have yet to hear back, and you probably won't hear back, and if you do, it's going to be a bunch of BS statements that's coming from him in his office and shout out to afro elite because he recently talked about this as well and this is what a lot of black people who are going to the sound hall meetings and getting in their faces and getting mad about because now this is what they this is what they're allowing to come into their city not even necessarily come in, what they're allowing to come in that's what they're allowing that's what they're uh allowing uh let me rephrase that that's what's there and it's only going to get worse is only going to get worse before it gets better 
because you think it's just this little crop right now no it's going to be more that's going to come over and they're going to get there and the crazy part about it is and i'm gonna say it in this video like i said in my previous video uh of when new york it's new york and chicago now and some other sp places sprinkled that's what it's going to be for a lot of the metropolitan areas going forward when they feel like they've already done what they can do in new york and what they can and have done and already in chicago where do, where do you think they're going to go next they're going to go find another metropolitan city especially where there's a lot of black people around it might be some other people there but they're going to do the same thing there literally what i keep telling y'all they keep bringing their criminal element from their homeland and they bring it here whatever they were doing in whatever country they came from they're bringing their bad habits here i already talked about what happened in chicago i mean uh well i'm talking about that now i already talked about what happened in new york you know i talked about the story down in houston when well, i houston in texas with that 18 year old venezuelan who deleted his ele his uh his neighbor's 11 year old daughter and then tried to blame it on two black men and there's a whole bunch of other stories out there it's so many floating around it's hard to keep up then you have the ones that did the smash and grab out there in california and they tried to say that was black people but let's be real here we pulled up the demographics it wasn't black people and we even shot we saw the faces of the two main ones that they caught that they caught again like i said america it's going to go from a point of me just mentioning individual states and cities to saying that america the u.s now has a new criminal class and they're the ones that they're allowing to come over this border notice i saying they are allowing i didn't say what affiliate party because in my opinion and in a lot of people's opinion they're both working in tandem with each other to do this the republicans and the democrats that's why i can't bring myself to say one is worse than the other because both of them are uh, are crap and they're full of it oh yeah one side saying oh look at what the side is doing but the other side benefits so i can't bring myself to say one is worse than the other because they're both they're they're both trash <laughs> they are both helping each other do this they're both getting a benefit out of it somehow some way it might be a little bit different of the approach but they're both gaining something out of this so don't let them try to run that con game on you that one side is worse than the other that's just that's political jargon that they love to throw out there all the time they're both working together as a unit and we and we are the ones that are affected the most y'all saw what they doing out there now in new york i think on staten island they out there protesting they in the streets telling them no don't bring them here because now it's landing on north on their doorstep it was all fine and good when it was just us you know it was all good when we were the ones that were being affected only but now that it's so many of them there and they've already overran or gotten too crowded where we are at now they got to put them somewhere else because there's no more room where we're at they got to send them elsewhere and now they're trying to fight off the horde of allowing them to get into their spaces and into their spots so you know this is what this is where we are at but i'm just curious though. i'm really curious i want to know what the people who always got to talk about chicago and have chicago on their brain and on their tongue every week got to say about this because i haven't heard one of them say a damn thing yet i know it's only been a day since the story went out but that's you know many hours passed in that last day they should have been on it because they you know if it was black people they would have been on it the second the story went public but see because of the new criminal class that's what i'm about to start calling them they have to find a spin or talk about something else that relates back to us and completely dodge the story all together that's really what it is it's blatant hypocrisy on their part but i'm not surprised in the least bit whether it's coming from pc or their melanated co-colonizing cohorts either way they're going to try to find a way to spin this i don't know how they're going to do it but they'll find a way nine times out of ten